Last time we talked about Neon, he was having a mental breakdown after breaking up with his quote-unquote girlfriend, Sam Frank, the girl that was pretty much using him for her OnlyFans. Now, I haven't been keeping up with the Goon Squad, but apparently he recently went to Dubai with her, and he tried to illegally livestream in a place where you're not allowed to film. So they arrested him. There seems to be a trend with influencers going to Dubai and finding out that they don't play by the same rules. Like, you don't just get to break a law and get a slap on the wrist like in the US, or it's not like New York City where you rob a grocery store and they arrest the store owner instead for looking at you funny, you know? You will actually be arrested in Dubai because they do not F around and they don't tolerate disrespect. Put the camera down, down. Oh, okay. Oh, get off. All cameras are off. I just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys. I'm really sorry. If we can't film it, it's a problem. We can, we can just leave if that's a... But the people, the people. Uh, the guest services said we're okay. If it's not okay, we can leave. We don't we want the, problems. We go to the office and after the After you take Okay, Give me all let's... Your ID. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm so sorry, sir. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? Are we going to jail? Are we going to jail? Yeah, I think so, man, because unlike the U.S., it's actually illegal to film other people without their permission and share it on social media in the UAE. Now, of course, in tourist locations, they will allow you to, to take pictures, take videos, but if the security of the place come up to you and explicitly tell you no, and then you continue doing it, yes, you will be arrested. And you can get up to six months in jail and up to 500,000 dirhams, which is uh, 130,000 US dollars, so it ain't cheap. Also, I gotta point out the obvious, the all cameras are off comment, as they literally continue to stream the entire interaction. This is why nobody takes you seriously. This is why the, the security doesn't let up over here, because they know that these types of people are gonna lie through their teeth, and they know that every word coming out of their mouth is probably not true. How can you possibly say you're not recording when we literally have this footage? And I know they're gonna use this dumbass loophole uh, with the same thing. Well, actually, we're, uh, we're streaming, which is technically, technically not a recording. Yeah, that's what they mean you absolute dipshit. They mean turn all the cameras off. Now, unless there is a secret security camera floating in the sky that I don't know about, likely you were breaking the rules. Oh. Where are we going? To the office, they said. Bro. But we went to guest services. That's where... Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who could clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. Oh, there's a bl Ripley's Believe It or Not. They didn't give us anything. They just they said yeah. they were going to send... That's the they camera. They said they were going to send... They took a picture of my passport. And they said huh? they would send it to the WhatsApp group chat. Close, close, close. We will go to the office. Close it. Close it. Put it down, just put it down, bro, put it down. What are you doing, bro? Put it Dude, I'm getting frustrated watching this. How many times do they have to tell you? Like 500 times before they actually stop recording. And you know, you know, like one of his, like this main camera stopped and another camera from another guy started recording because to them, pretty much the entirety of life is meaningless unless it's filmed for content, unless it's filmed for the viewers, for the chat. It's like you specifically come there looking for problems, specifically break their rules and then you act surprised well you act like absolute rejects being like oh wow i can't believe they're asking me to stop filming i thought this was a this was a, this was a cool place i thought we could film over here like no you're breaking the rules and you're not listening to what they say and i'm pretty sure in the clips there were some random people getting pissed as well like people that are not even part of the police is just like random people saying stop recording you're being a dipshit okay now some other people were saying that this whole thing is fake because there's woman police and uh, some brain-dead idiots actually think that Dubai doesn't have woman police. 
And uh, I can just let you know they absolutely do because I've been there and I've seen them. Okay, just because you've never stepped one foot outside America and think the entire world is in the 1400s doesn't mean it's true. They definitely do have women police there and that doesn't make the clip fake. Now, could Neon actually do a fake a clip by hiring a bunch of people and, you know, staging this whole thing up? Yes, absolutely. He's staged a bunch of things in the past before, but... Uh, it does look pretty real to me. The outfits and everything sort of matches up. Their demeanor is very natural, all of the accents and everything. So I don't know if uh, Neon is dumb enough to fake shit like this, because if the actual authorities find out that this is fake, you won't be arrested for six months, okay? You won't get that petty slap on the wrist. You'll be arrested for 10 straight years, okay? This is like, you cannot impersonate security or police officers at all. That is an absolute no-no, even in like other parts of the world. So I can't imagine what it would be in Dubai, okay? So for for Neon's sake, this better not be fake. This is the comment reaction. God is great. Yeah, everybody just, just loves Neon getting arrested here. Now, I wanted to show you guys a couple more clips of Neon just absolutely embarrassing himself. Here's one where he gets yelled at by his own security guards. These are the people that he pays money to, but they are yelling at him. <laughs> this is pathetic. Go, there's too many lanes. There's too many lanes. It's wide open. Follow us. Follow us. Follow me. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. See, you're not you're, you're not even listening. I right am now. listening. You're trying to do what you want to do. I'm telling you to follow me. Look at me. Uh, bro, okay. Follow me. Bro, who are you talking to, bro? What the fuck out of here, bro? The fuck? Who the fuck are you talking to, bro? Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. Fuck out of here, bro. I pay these motherfuckers, bro. What? Joe, just follow him and I'll be right behind yeah, you, okay? It's not a big deal, you're driving it's fine. fine, it's just confusing. Okay? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. The, the, the location is hard, it's fine. It's... The location is hard, it's not you, it's Joe. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll be back. Get out of here, bro. Can you imagine having the misfortune of working for this absolute reject? Neon cannot follow basic freaking instructions, okay? And he starts swearing the second the door closes because he knows that if he tries that shit when the guy can actually hear him, he's getting beat up by his own employee. Imagine being yelled at by your own security guard that you hired. He has literally zero respect for you, dude. You're a complete joke. And not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure he's perfectly justified to react like that, okay? Because if I was working for Neon, dude i would literally ask god every single day what went wrong in my life okay you could uh you could have put me somewhere more more bearable like a army torture camp maybe yeah, have me captured by the enemy enemy army or something you know that would be more bearable than this shit i just gotta emphasize how pathetic it is that you can't even pay people money to respect you that is absolute rock bottom right there why does neon find it hard to follow instructions he don't normally behave like that are you a fan, buddy? Are you a fan? You know his character or something? That's, this seems exactly like he would act all the time. Now, here's another clip of the clout-hungry goblin, uh, Sam Frank. I don't know if Neon is behind the camera here or something, but uh, here they are filming in Dubai Mall, and a guard comes up and tells them to stop. From Garage, this is actually Prada, believe it or not. I know you can't tell. You are making the video? Huh? You are making the video? It's not allowed in the Dubai Mall. You're oh. You're supposed to delete video? Sure. Hmm? Please delete your video. Oh, okay, just turn it off. Delete. Here's a question. How many times and in how many different locations must you be approached to finally stop filming and stop annoying people? There's just no respect. No respect for the laws, no respect for the rules, the culture, nothing. Just do whatever you want because you need views and you need content and you need stream stuff. Why? Just go to another place, man. Why Dubai? Stop annoying them. They ask so politely as well. They're never like imposing or anything like that. They are extremely respectful and you know they're not like manhandling them or anything which they very well will be entitled to after they don't really listen to any of the instructions i don't know they just have more patience than i do or they're just not previously aware of neon's antics and everything because 
I'm pretty sure if they knew the stuff that this guy was up to before and knew of all his scandals and stuff, they would not be so nice. They would not be so accommodating because this is not his first mess up. This is not his first sign of disrespecting people and disrespecting the security is a repeat offender. I also wanted to talk about this video of Sam Frank describing the Lambo that Neon apparently bought her. So what exactly is going on here? I'm sorry, I don't follow the, the lore anymore because I thought they broke up or something. Why is this dude buying her Lamborghinis? I mean, what? What is going on? Like, if, the, if this isn't even your girlfriend anymore, what is going on? And even if she is, brother, you are getting scammed. And uh, I don't really feel bad for you, but holy shit, this is the most obvious gold digging situation ever. What kind of lamb did you have? Oh, it's actually a Technica. So the Technica that I got yesterday that Mikhail got me was a Technica 2024, which is actually the fastest Huracan on the market because it's not just an engine. They, it uses electric torque as well. Let's see what kind I mean, I don't know if I'm happy or sad here because uh, draining Neon's bank account, that kind of sounds like a good thing over there because that's kind of the only thing that sort of gives him power over people. The money is making off streaming and stuff. So once that's gone, I, I don't know a single human being on the planet, single animal on the planet that would respect this guy. Now this next clip, she gets mad at somebody else for using Neon, which is probably the most ironic shit I've ever heard. Wait, Neon, it's a not streaming with HS. I don't like why that do Why do you guys use the word, yeah, why do you use the word manipulate? That's Maybe first of all, like silly. Communicate, but this is what we'd like to see. You know, I actually did try to explain to him my concerns about HS from the beginning. I'm not going to lie. From the very beginning, as soon as he told me he was going to do, his idea was like top golf and then camel riding with him or something, which didn't even end up happening. But I really did try to express my concerns because HS literally has talked so much shit about me and try to like just make me look like a terrible person, make me look like someone I am, telling me I sell my m**** online, so I even don't. I don't sell my m**** Okay, so from what I understand, Sam has uh, beef with this HS ticky talky guy or whatever the hell, because uh, he, he says that she's using him. Uh, for his money or whatever, which is which is true. You know, he says it as it is, but I think that guy's a bit of a tool as well. Pretty much there's no innocent people in this whole uh, friend group over here. All of them are horrible people. All of them are using each other. All of them are doing this for their own views, their own satisfaction, their own selfishness. I highly doubt there is a single good person floating around in this bunch at all. But um, I think it's pretty ironic saying that, hey, this person is using using you when you are probably one of the biggest leeches ever, which I don't mind because Neon deserves to get leeched off of. So I don't know. I don't know who to support here. The enemy of the enemy is my friend who's also with the enemy. I don't, <laughs> don't know what's going on. Why is there a clip of Neon with animals? You're unpredictable. I bet me! <laughs> you mother <laughs> 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 It's like a grandpa. It's a grandpa monkey. Stop being like that, bro. I'm your friend. Give me. Stop, bro. I'm cool, bro. We friends. Come on, bro. I know so many people who look like you. That's that's hilarious, man. That's a uh, top tier comedy right there. I I wonder what the people that are showing him around think. Like what the trainers or whatever uh think about this i don't know man i feel like it's it's not hard not hard to be respectful for a couple minutes while you're handling the animals while you're talking to them at least for the sake of the employees pretend you have a brain cell for once in your life man it's just it's so distasteful to me i just like the second he started mouthing off like that if i was the employees i'd kick him out instantly oh my what the <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is he doing? No, no, no. Yo, she's pulling me! No, no, no! Take, 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 take! No, no! Bro is getting handled by an animal that is not even trying to do any damage to him whatsoever. If that animal actually wanted to hurt you, your face would be broken into pieces right now, dude. Throw the left, throw the left first, throw the left first! Yes, that's it, left first, left first! Watch me! Yeah! Left first, left first. Yeah, let's go. As yeah, he's coming, come throw on. the left. Yeah. No, throw come the on. left. Yeah. Come on. Throw the yeah. left. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh yes! Yes, Neon! Go. Oh my, can we have somebody on the other side that actually wants to do damage to Neon, please? I would pay good money, and I'm talking thousands, thousands of dollars to get see this guy knocked out. I would buy the tickets and everything. I'd fly over there. I'd get a front row seat to just seeing this guy get absolutely knocked out, dude. What an insufferable douchebag. Let's go! Yes! Let's Wait, go! go. go. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Go. Yes! Yes! Left, right, left, right! Yes! Okay, I don't know who this other guy is, but if you are legitimately trying and losing to Neon, you need to revoke every single license you have as a man immediately there's not a single man on earth i could take a 10 year old and he would beat the shit out of neon dude that, that's absolutely crazy how is this happening surely he's been paid off or something right he hasn't thrown a single punch man come on here's a real challenge for neon man but i hope he actually goes to prison that's that's all i can say that's it i'll see you guys later